welcome back. I'm Christine of Side Street Market and today is a Goodwill haul video. So you guys would have been shopping with me yesterday at the Goodwill, technically. <coughs> and so today is the haul so you can see all the stuff I got. So we're going to go ahead and dive right in. I thought the first thing I would do was get this piece out of the way, actually, actually. <clears throat> we're going to go over my total spend was $54, and this week I did not get any color of the week items, so there was no 50% off. So we'll do that first, and now we'll see what I got. So first off, I could not leave this behind. This is a lovely oil painting. It is signed here. It is signed Nathan, and I just love the colors. I thought this was a really great piece, and on the back it was $4.99, and it does have some writing that says 81089 Sazinka 74 Mali Del Guanto. So I'm not sure what that is. Now, I am noticing having this for a little bit that there is a must coming off of this frame. And I also noticed that someone has oversprayed onto this frame. So what I'm going to do, since this canvas can come out very easily and that makes it easier for shipping, I am going to take this out of the frame and just have the canvas itself for sale because this frame does have some musk and I probably will just redonate the frame back to Goodwill but the canvas on it even though it does complement it it does have kind of like an older smell to it so that was the first big item and let's see I'm getting all the bags in front of me all the bags and I have a new ring light guys so I'm testing it out I got the ring light to use for my whatnot sales so Let's go over some of the singles that I can easily put back in the cart. So I did pick up this and at first I thought that this was the Royal Copley cat because I have had this similar mold in black and white and it was a Royal Copley cat. This was $3.99 so I did pay up but it is a more contemporary piece. It is not the Royal Copley one but I still thought that it was super cute at $4.00. This will probably be listed between 16 and 18 in my online stores. I'm on eBay at Zine Mercari, all links below, just saying, if you're interested. Then I picked this up because I thought it was kind of neat. It is a napkin holder, but it's like got this great art pottery feel and this three dimension, these three dimensional fish on it. It's actually quite heavy and it was $4. Now there is some sort of a maker mark on the bottom, land something. I'm going to have to try to do some Googling on that because I am not quite sure who that is. But I thought this was really neat for mail and stuff and I love that kind of 80s, 90s color and is definitely a thick art pottery. I just wish I knew who made it. Lands something. Oh, that's a year. I think it says 1996. I think that's a year and then the person's name. So this, I did pay up, this was $5. It's probably gonna only be a 15 to $16 item because of the weight. So I may only double my money, but I thought it was neat. Then I grabbed these guys. And so I recently got a set of these at the flea market. So I have a big one and three littles. And I had paid $25 for that set. Now this is just a single, it was only $3. And this is, um, either Home Co or Sexton. And I'm noticing that there's like a dead bug on it now, so I'm just gonna keep it away from my face. But it's a cast metal. You can see the bug in the corner. So I need to check if this matches the ones I have already. I may add it to that set. That's why I picked it up. Okay. And y'all hear me talk about Godinger. I love Godinger. Usually it's silver plated items. Whenever I find their jewelry boxes at Goodwill, for me at least, within three to four months, I turn them quick online. So I was in the craft section and I came across, it's a Godinger photo album with three-dimensional seahorses and uh, starfish and shells. And it does say Godinger on the back. It's just a four by six album. You can put a photo on the front. There, there are, oh, there's something in the back. Someone had a note, Christmas 2006, BMP, Jeep, and children, but there's no photos. So I'm going to give that a shot because I've never sold one of their photo albums. 
I did pay $4 for it, but this will probably go between 20 and 30 listed online. Because my bad injury usually does pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> now to the bags. <clears throat> and pardon me, guys, I am still battling allergies here in the lovely state of Florida. So if I sound a little raspy, a little congested. It's just my new normal this year in the summer. We're just having a really, really bad allergy season this year for some reason. And I do get shots and everything, so okay. Y'all know I love brass. You know I got a thing for napkin rings. So I found some more brass napkin rings. These were $3, so I'll probably list them for about $15. And they're just a really nice set of etched brass napkin, brass napkin rings. I like the color. I liked... I like the shape that it's got. It's not just your plain circle. It's got some scalloping and the etch work on it. I thought it was nice. It's kind of like a floral motif. So as more and more summer parties are happening, those will be popular. So that was a good buy. And then <clears throat> I have two mystery bags. We'll do those last. I picked this up and I was super excited. This bag cost me $5.00. And the reason I was excited is you always hear about the Leonard silver plate and you always hear about the Leonard starburst coasters, which I think they're actually ashtrays, but people use them as coasters now. I have never found them. This is still new in package, genuine crystal and silver plate by Leonard Italy in the original box and... I think it might be missing a lid, but this does say the Leonard on the back. I'm gonna have to use my undo to get this off of here. This was $5, but these will probably sell for between 25 to 30 because they're new in box and they're just starting to tarnish. Really excited to grab that. And mixed in with that, I'm throwing the bags at the cats, was another set of crystal clear 24% leaded just coasters. So just some nice leaded coasters. So that was a bonus. And I think they were, uh, the bag was five. So that's two fifty dollars each. So these are a nice like little 12 to $15 item. We'll do that. We'll take that. Oops. If I don't break them. And then <clears throat> I've been watching a lot of the crazy lamp lady and she's all about picking up the pottery lately. So I kind of caught the pottery bug and I saw this combined and it said $6, so I figured, okay, it's gonna be $3 an item. So let's take a look and see what I got. Because I was not able to check if this was cracked at all. I hear the cats playing with the bags. So this is nice and clean inside, okay. So this says J.B. Cole's, I don't know, there's a whole bunch of writing, but it says 1985. So this is Studio Art Pottery. It is signed. It has all these signatures on the bottom. And it's 1985. It's a very nicely done green. Oh, look, I didn't even notice how pretty that shows up. I love this new ring light. It actually makes it a little lighter than it is in person. It's actually more of this darker color. But yeah, so that says NC94, something 85, Nellick, Seagrave, J.B. Cole, Seagrave. I wonder if this was a, a classroom piece, because I think Seagrave is a high school around here. But still, lovely vase. And like I said, these were $5.99 for the pair, so that's like $3 each. Now, y'all are gonna have to help me out with what this is. Um, I'm not quite sure, but this is another pottery piece. It's red clay, but look at that. Now, I would say this is like a votive holder or something, but you know, you'd have trouble with a tapered candle. You might be able to put a votive or it might be an incense burner, but look at the crushed glass in that. That's why I picked it up, because I really like the crushed glass. <clears throat> I just really loved the drip glaze on this and the crushed glass in it. Um, 
so yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm going to say trinket dish votive holder, but I think I'll definitely make my money back on those. Very nice pottery pieces. And then I picked up a bag of one of two bags of brass. So I know you're shocked and amazed. So this is the first bag I grabbed and I grabbed it because of this item here, which I do not know if I'm going to sell yet because I think it'd be really great for displays. I have the worst scissors in the world. So this is fun. This is a mystery bag. I feel like there is some damage going on in here. So we'll kind of see have, have to see what's going on. Okay, so this is a, a little brass like lily pad taper candle holder. So you can put three candles in here and it's a little centerpiece. So again, this bag was $6, so that's $2 each, 12 to 15 on this. I think that will do nicely. A nice little votive holder, very pretty. Then I saw this guy, which is one of those little art stands, those little ornate, and these are hard to find and they're expensive. So I think for now, I'm going to be keeping this for me to use um, for smaller items when I'm photographing and then I probably will end up selling it because it actually is smaller than I thought. Yeah, it's kind of like got that old Italian feel to it. Just really nice, but it's tiny. I mean, in comparison to my head, it's a little guy. So that was only 250. And then the last item, it does have some damage, unfortunately, in that um, the rubber feet have fallen off. It looks like, and there's some sort of a hook but someone may still want it. It is a vintage trivet by William A. Rogers. So that's like a silver plate company. And it is Japan and it's this vintage rose trivet. It's got the white enamel and the um, textured gold tone on the silver plate. So as you can see on the back, the rubber has broken off of three of the four feet. But I still think that that's really nice. Like someone might even want to use that as like a wall art piece. There is a little hook I'm thinking, so if people want to hang it, they can hang it. So I still think that was a good deal, those three. There is a little bit of scratching to the white enamel, and of course the sticker is right over the rose. So we'll just have to work on getting that cleaned up nicely. But not bad for uh, $6. I'll take it, good deal. Okay. <clears throat> This next one, I'm sure y'all are gonna be like, why the heck did you buy those? That's kind of crazy, but I have an idea. <clears throat> I bought a bag of shoe brushes. Look at this guys. This whole bag was $5, okay? Now the fun part about these, okay, so this is just like more of a, a polish brush but the rest of these, so, and this is like a little scrubbing brush. So I might put those as a little set, but people like to take these. I'm trying not to like, you know, but you can take these and you can stick vintage photos in them and use them in displays. So I got one and this one is not marked, but it is definitely older. So there's one, two, three, four, and this one has some markings on the back, five, six, and seven. And this one says Britain Brush Company Limited, warranted all bristle 1940. So these are old. Oh, this one is writing too. No, it doesn't. So for that whole bag, it was five dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven out of it. So that's like fifty cents a brush. Now these brushes are going to be coming to um, some of them are going to be coming to my whatnot sales. And this last bag is also really good. Brass, six dollars. Come on now, come on now. <clears throat> six dollars for this whole bag and now this one is really my mystery bag because I have no idea what's in it 
So first off, we have something we always love, just a simple um, aluminum brass toned. This is great for nautical decor. You can put your soaps in here. You can use it as a trinket dish for guests. Love it. Then we have some enamel gold toned napkin rings. Now there is quite a bit of wear to these. So I will have to see what I'm going to do with those. And then we have some silver plate, which these will probably end up in a whatnot sale because there's three of them. And these are great for putting under your candles if you have like a big old chunky candle. This one here is actually Oneida. So that's probably Oneida Silver Plate USA. So these two are Oneida, all three of them. So there's three Oneidas. So that's something that I could bring those to a whatnot sale and someone can use them for decorative purposes. Then there's just, oh, that's cute. That's got some great patina. So this is called a pin tray. This is probably a modern made in China. But it's got, it's a great peacock pattern with all this great patina, great little trinket thing. Again, something I might bring to a whatnot sale. And then I ended up with some bells. So I've got two brass bells here, made in India, which those are fun. So this whole bag was, I forget, because I'm not seeing the price now on anything. Oh, that's right, they put it on one of the the back of the plates, I think. My Alexa's talking to me. So it was six. So it was six dollars, and I ended up with three, four, five, six, seven, eight items. And this was the reason I wanted the whole bag. This was the reason I wanted the bag. This is a vintage Japan. It says Japan trinket jewelry box. Yep. So this was the reason I bought the whole thing. And this I'll probably list for 20 to 25 and it'll cover the cost of most of this. Um, there's a chance that these napkin rings might get donated back or I might do them as a giveaway or whatnot giveaway, but they're kind of heavy to do that. But yeah, that was pretty good. So I'm excited that now I am not only shopping for eBay and Etsy and Mercari, I'm also shopping for whatnot and I'm able to come live to you guys again. Although you won't, 90% of the time you probably won't see my face, it'll just be my hands. I still love that I can interact with you guys over on whatnot and that I'm available to do that now. So if you liked the video guys, remember to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all soon. Thank you.